All right, you squares. I think we were talking about this on the hangout on Saturday. That one trucker almost melted down, but self-driving trucks begin mail delivery tests for the U.S. Postal Service. Too Simple said its self-driving trucks will be in hauling mail between Phoenix and Dallas to see how the technology might improve delivery times and cost. The U.S. Postal Service on Tuesday started a two-week test transporting mail across three southern states using self-driving trucks, a step toward the effort to commercialize autonomous vehicle technology for hauling freight. San Diego-based startup Too Simple said its self-driving trucks will begin hauling mail between UPS facilities in Phoenix and Dallas to see how the nascent technology might improve delivery times and costs. A safety driver will sit behind the wheel to intervene if necessary and an engineer will ride in the passenger seat. If successful, it would mark an achievement for the autonomous driving industry and a possible solution to the driver shortage and regulatory constraints faced by freight haulers across the country. The pilot program involves five round trips, each totaling more than 2,100 miles or about 45 hours of driving. It is unclear whether self-driving mail delivery will continue after the two-week pilot. The work with Too Simple is our first initiative in autonomous long-haul transportation, UPS spokesman Ken Frum said. We are conducting research and testing as part of our efforts to operate a future class of vehicles which will incorporate new technology. Too Simple and the UPS declined to disclose the cost of the program, but Frum said no tax dollars were used and the agency relies on revenue from sales of postage and other products. Too Simple has raised $178 million in private finances, including from chip maker NVIDIA mm, and Chinese online media company Sinecorp. <laughs> Can't get the Chinese out of the, uh, out of the economy, can you? The trucks will travel on major interstates and pass through Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. This run is really the sweet spot of how we believe autonomous trucks will be used. Said Too Simple Chief Product Officer Chuck Price, these long runs are beyond the range of a single human driver, which means today, if they do this run, they have to figure out how to cover it with multiple drivers in the vehicle. The goal is to eliminate the need for a driver freeing shippers and freight haulers from the constraints of a worsening driver shortage. The American Trucking Association estimates a shortage of as many as 174,500 drivers by 2024 due to an aging workforce and the difficulty of attracting younger drivers. A new safety law requiring truck drivers to electronically log their miles has further constrained how quickly and efficiently fleets can move goods. Two Simples tie up with the UPS marks an achievement for the fledgling self-driving truck industry and follows Swedish company Inrides, Inrides entry into the freight delivery using driverless electric trucks on a public road announced last week. The development contrasts with retrenching efforts by robo-taxi companies such as General Motors, Unit Cruise, Uber Technologies Incorporated and Startup Drive AI, which have stumbled in building self-driving cars that can anticipate and respond to humans and navigate urban areas, an expensive and technological, technologically challenging feat. Price said self-driving trucks will have advantages over passenger cars, including the relative ease of operating on interstates compared with city centers, which reduces mapping requirements and safety challenges involving pedestrians and bicycles there you have it and i know why they use the postal service instead of say like amazon or some some other shipper like um ups is because the government has deep pockets and it's extremely hard to sue the postal service or the u.s federal government so i think i think there has been a couple of trucks that have already done this run. I don't quote me, but I do believe there's one. But if the Postal Service does it and they implement it, and they take the risk, trust and believe there'll be more. So evidently, this is too slow. Congress has been pushing for this, man, for the 
for the last three or four years for retirement trucks. And since the private sector can't do it, guess who takes over? The federal government does it, which is not surprising. And I wouldn't be surprised if he self-driving um, mail trucks in, inside the city. But that is a that is a horse of a different color. That's going to take a while. But right now, folks, it's on. It's already in the testing phase. I think they've already started it. Like I say, hold on to your hats. It's coming faster than expected. Because I was talking, we talked about Saturday night and they were talking about the 10 years. 15 years. You know, it's not even two weeks. And here we have it. But let me get on to the next article that I actually want to read. Forge way to finish driverless deliveries. Package carrying robots. Autonomous vehicles will need a human free way to get things to your doorstep. It's a headless robot in a driverless car. Ford is working on a way to resolve what self-driving researchers refer to as the last 50 foot problem. If an autonomous delivery vehicle arrives at your house without any humans aboard, who's going to carry the package, grocery bags or piping hot pizza to your doorstep? A robot, of course could be up to the task with no tipping necessary. In Ford's case, the solution is Digit, an android with two stork-like legs and arms capable of carrying a 40-pound load and a camera-encrusted torso topped by a puck-shaped laser radar sensor. It could be the headless cousin of a battle droid from the much maligned Star Wars prequels. The business case for driverless delivery is even more compelling than robo taxis and potentially easier to execute. For one thing, there's no need to worry about the safety of the human passengers and the rise of online shopping has turned package delivery into a huge growth area. Just ask Amazon, which spent $27 billion on delivery costs last year. That's a hell of a lot of money. Jesus. Remove the human driver from the qu equation and delivery costs could plunge by 60% or more. The benefits could be in the billions. What do you think? <laughs> the post office delivers so many packages every year. What, what, what do you think if they combine the, the, the self-driving trucks and that kind of technology with this robot? Unbelievable. Ford would like to deploy digit delivery robots as early as 2021. Do you, you don't hear me though. Alongside the planned introduction of his autonomous vehicle fleets to ferry people and packages around the clock. We're going to have an AV fleet out there. And my goal is to get robots to be able to be there and ready at the same time, said Greg Stevens, director of controls, automation and forge research and advanced engineering. But how real humans will react to this delivery Android is the key part of forge research, which is just getting underway and will include real world tests inside Ford factories and on the sidewalks of Dearborn, Michigan and Pittsburgh. Digit looks pretty friendly to me, Stephen said. The inoffensive appearance is going to be a key for people to be able to trust their robot. Digit was created by Agility Robotics, a startup with fewer than 30 people based in Albany, Oregon. Chief Technology Office Jonathan Hurst Less than fewer than 30 people. Black folks, how come we can't do this? Jonathan Hurst said he hasn't seen anyone react neg negatively when meeting Digit or a forebearer that lacked a torso and was simply a pair of piston like legs attached to a motorized midsection. The robots have been allowed out on the town. A lot of people ask us could this be perceived as creepy? There is a small subset of people who stay far back, he said, and whip out their smartphones and start taking video. While the design is likely to evolve, Hearst doesn't see a need to give Ford's delivery robot a head. In fact, he wonders if that might freak people out more. If it looks very close to our animal or human but is not quite there, then immediately people are revolted by it. And we, don't, we didn't physically need a head up there for our current perception needs. Others are tinkering with delivery robots, not all of which are humanoid. Antibiotics and German auto parts giant Continental demonstrated a robotic delivery dog 
concept in the Consumer Electronics Show this year. Segway has shown a rolling delivery service that looks like a mobile office copier. And FedEx is using a boxy rolling bot that can climb stairs and carry up to 100 pounds. Starship robots, which looks like squat stormtroopers with six wheels, are deployed in several cities around the world, according to the startup based in San Francisco and Estonia. And Postmates, <laughs> which is researching autonomous grocery getting with Ford, has a cute delivery robot known as Serve with googly eyes like Pixar's Wally, along with four oversized wheels. <laughs> you had to know this was coming. You have to, you had to know this was coming. Ford is worried that the wheeled robot couriers would be blocked by front porch steps found outside most homes in America. Digit, by comparison, can climb steps and raise its arms to catch itself a fall. Its tiny feet sold in corrugated rubber can traverse concrete, glass, wood, and gravel. Ford's decision to go with two legs instead of wheels came with help from researchers at the University of Michigan. Our world is designed for bipedals, us, Stephen said. So there is an inherent attractiveness to a bipedal robot. Another advantage is Digi's lightweight design rather than outfitted with a full array of sensors, processors, which pushed its bulk past 100 pounds. Digi gets most of its computing power from Ford's self-driving vehicle. The same sensors will allow the autonomous car to navigate uh, uh, allow the autonomous car to navigate will be used to scan the path to the door and beam the route to the robot. Once a digit has left the package on the porch or handed it to the recipient, it walks back to the delivery van, folds itself into a compact square, and slides into a drawer that serves as a docking station. The process looks like something out of the Transformers movie. The suburban port scenario up the garden path to the front door Stevens puts it won't be the only use case. Ford and Agility plan to test urban scenarios that involve gaining access to apartment buildings without the help of a doorman. That's where the Amazon locks come in. At first, however, there will be a role for human helpers. We're not going to be deploying them by the thousands and replacing people who do the job right away, her said. A Ford which specializes in commercial vehicles, driverless delivery has a huge potential. The automaker has pegged the potential value to market for robot ride hailing and driverless delivery to, at $332 billion. The business opportunity is large. Stephen said, robots are going to be necessary. All right, you squares, read it and weep. I'm going to put the articles in the description. They're very, very interesting. Like I say, they say 2021, they're going to start deploying this. So by 2020, 2025 is the goal. In Los Angeles, they want to have self-driving cars by 2025. If 2021 is the goal for Ford, they're getting ready. Y'all got six years to do what you do. Truckers, I told you, you had till 2025 to get your shit together and figure out what you're going to do. They're already pushing, you know, Amazon's already pushing people out of the factories into the into the delivery vans and once this stuff comes up with ford where they can replace people in the in the delivery vans and into the and to, into delivering at the door it's a wrap uh, combine that with amazon with uh, amazon locks or autom autonomous locks where the delivery people delivery robot can actually open the door put the package in uh close the door and lock it so there will, there will be no stolen packages and stuff like that because we have a big problem with stolen packages. So what if the robot can roll up to your house, unlock your door, put your packages or whatever it is inside and then come back to the van and leave? Or what happens when it replaces your mailman? Because most of the stuff that the post office de uh, uh, delivers now is not mail. It's not the letters, it's actually packages. So I've showed you uh, just this week, this is this is three things that I've showed you that, is, that are coming right away. You know, the artificial womb, driverless trucks, and now driver, not uh, autonomous robots delivering packages from, from the truck to the door, which is something I actually didn't mention on Saturday, that this was coming. Y'all can do what you want. Y'all can argue over pussy all you want. But when you have to eat, I think a lot of this stuff is actually going to go out the window. 
But with that, I'm going to jump off of here. This is BGS out, and I will see you unemployed people on the next one. Peace.